Hello everyone. So today I'm going to do my first body peel. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> so uh, this is the uh, the good peel. It's a yellow peeling oil and I mean it's a small bottle. Thankfully I have multiple of these because I'm not going to be just using this for like my knuckles or something. I'm going to try to do an all over body peel using this brand um, and this is by SHC uh, Glutathione. It's by that company. And basically I've been sitting on this for the last two, three months because I'm scared about having all of my skin peeling and then going out in public and people wondering what's wrong with your skin. And I don't know, it just always, it always seemed like an inconvenience to me. But now with all this coronavirus stuff, um, everyone's on self quarantine and I'm not gonna be going anywhere for a very, very long time. So I'll just put up the information from the website on the screen because I can't completely remember everything, but um, for the most part, I'm going to apply this, I believe, at least three times today. And I'm not sure if I have to apply it again the second day or not. Um, I'll refresh my memory after I get done replying it the first time. But basically, I'm going to apply it with a cotton swab and then I'm gonna let it completely dry. I'll wait a few hours, apply it a second time, wait a few hours, apply it a third time. We'll do this all in one day. And then, um, yeah, over the next few days, hopefully peeling will occur, probably. Most likely, peeling is going to occur. And then, um, my skin is going to slowly but surely come off. <laughs> that sounds so awful. But basically on the website it says this could take seven, 10 days. Like, you know, you can't peel it or you can't speed up the process by like sloughing it off on your own. You just have to allow it to peel at its own rate. And so I really don't want to hurt myself. Um, my battery's being weird. It's blinking. So hopefully I can find the backup battery because this camera is about to die. I'm just gonna get into it. This is like a mixture of, I believe, three or four different acids. Um, so this should be very legit. Okay, it's glycolic acid, lactic acid, malic acid, salicylic acid, vitamin A, and citric acid. So we are not playing around <laughs> with this. And um, I'm not gonna do my arms today because I do have somewhere to go tomorrow. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna do my legs and my stomach and my feet. So we're gonna start with my feet first. This stuff's kind of red. Well, you guys will see. Um, it does say not to have any like lotions or anything on your skin. So like I just got out of the shower, haven't put on a lotion or anything. And I'm gonna stand up so you guys can see. And um, I did use my Kojic soap also from SHC Glutathione. It's a good soap, I will say that. Um, I don't know with all of this craziness going on if they are still up and running. I know UK is getting slammed right now with coronavirus stuff. Um, you guys are gonna see a huge interruption in supply, like being able to get your groceries and just, yeah, being able to buy stuff um, and so, if you already bought all of your glutathione, all of your vitamin C, and you stocked up a long time ago, then you people are probably really, really thankful because, you know, there's some companies that may not be able to get things to you as quickly. And, you know, with glutathione, you really don't want to miss any days. Um, so I'm sure that the people who bought stuff in bulk um, are very happy right now. The people who were buying as they go, <laughs> um, yeah, they're probably sweating. So, all right, got it on one leg. Um, I'm having to, I ordered some acrylic, like, you know, the powder, um, the toner stuff, and a professional, what's that thing called, drill for my nails, and I'm gonna have to do my nails all on my own because yeah, <laughs> we are shut down here in Florida. And you know, even if nail salons are open, I really think it would be silly to go just because, you know, anywhere where there's like a lot of people, you really shouldn't be chilling right now. Which I feel like everyone knows that. Um, how are you guys over in UK and other European countries? How are you taking this? Um, 
you. Here in the US, it isn't too bad yet, but we're going on a buying frenzy. And so um, a lot of our stores are out of stock of a lot of things. And um, yeah, the richest nation <laughs> one of the richest nations in the world um, is basically going to buy up everything and it's kind of scary because those people who need things aren't going to be able to get them. Okay, I'm doing my feet now. Um, which I've needed to do my feet for a long time because they are darker than the rest of my body. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but I can surely see um, in person that they're a little darker. Mm, I can feel a little a light tingling. Um, I'm gonna have to pull up the directions, see if I'm supposed to rinse this off. I don't think I'm supposed to, but um, I think I should be able to um, apply a mild lotion in a few hours, hopefully, I don't know. <laughs> I have to reread the directions. Um, I'm gonna do my. Okay, I'm back. Um, <laughs> I ran out of battery, so it's time to do my stomach. Um, while I was looking for my battery, I decided to read up on what I'm supposed to do with this. Yes, my skin does tingle after putting it on. Um, after reading the directions, I was supposed to stop using any exfoliants or skin lighteners a few days before doing this. Um, so, anyways. <laughs> So I messed up with that, but um, it's not making like my skin burn or anything. The tingling has already stopped, so I'm not freaking out about it at all. And um, I'm supposed to apply this, I believe, uh, three times a day, and you don't rinse it off. So I'm going to be doing this, um, yeah, in a few hours. You just have to wait for it to completely sink into your skin. So... That's exciting. Um, I think for right now I'm good. I'll um, turn the camera back on when I go to apply for the second time. Um, but for right now, that was good for the first time. Um, depending on how this goes, I will uh, do my upper body next time. Um, it says that like on the third or the third or fourth day, that's when I'm going to start peeling. So I have to apply this three times a day for three to four days. That's crazy. <laughs> I thought it was just for like one or two days, but no. So um, hopefully this whole bottle will last me um, for yeah for the three days. If not, I have a few other bottles, so I should be good either way. We shall see. Either way, the peel looks pretty intense. Like, it, it's gonna be a, a deep peel, like a real peel. Um, that's why I was so nervous about doing it <laughs> before. Before everyone was like locked up at home, social distancing, I was too scared because I didn't want to look like, you know, there was something wrong with my skin or I had some type of disease. But um, as of right now, it doesn't really matter. So this is literally the perfect time to do it. I think this peel would probably be good for people who have very stubborn areas like let's say your knuckles or something um my knuckles have been really great i have not had any issues with them being darker than the rest of my body you know the only part of my body that i've been noticing that um has been a little darker have been my feet for whatever reason <laughs> so the knuckles on my toes and my feet so i'm excited to see what this peel can do um so yeah i'm gonna turn this off and then uh, make a video on how my second laser skin whitening session went and we're back again it's been a few hours um i'm actually editing this video right now and i thought i would just show you guys me putting on the second um coat I guess it's been a few hours like I said um, in the directions it just was saying just to make sure that um, you let the first coat really soak into your skin um, as far as for the peeling process we're able to like use really really moisturizing um, lotions and stuff like that so I'm not um, too worried about um, you know, I wasn't sure if I'd have to let, just like let my skin be like really, really dry, if like that would mess up the peeling, but um, on the website it says like it doesn't, so I'm very excited about that. 
Um, feet. And um, as you guys know, you literally have to apply this three times a day and um, do this for three to four days, just, you know, depending on how much peeling you want, I guess. I don't know. I'm just going to go by the directions since this is my first time. I want to make sure that I do it the right way. The before and afters are pretty crazy. Not gonna lie. Pretty, pretty crazy. So what are you guys doing with your coronavirus self-quarantine? Are you reading books? Are you learning an extra language? Um, I'll get back to my language learning um, because now is just the perfect time. And making lots of YouTube videos. I need to get another cotton swab because there's not a whole else lot to do. I mean, for a lot of people, they're just like bored at home. I miss my friends. I miss going out at night. Like, sucks. The only good thing about this is like now I'll stop drinking alcohol because these last few months I've been drinking a lot of alcohol and as you guys know that um messes with your results so that's basically like one of the only positives to this is that my glutathione supply should like skyrocket. <laughs> As of today, I haven't put on any lotion. I just got straight out of the shower and like made this video and my skin does get dry. <laughs> and so I don't know if I should put on some within the next three days or if I should just let this sink into my skin the best it can without any lotion. I have no idea. I'll figure it out. Um, I need my stomach. Obviously, I would not put this around, like, I don't know, your intimate areas. I don't know if it's safe to use on nipples or not. Um, maybe that's something I should research, or I could just contact the company and ask them. Um, but, well, for me, since I'm doing the laser lightning on this area, like, there's no need for me to put this on there. But for nipples, it'd be nice to know. Um, but yeah, I think I've put it everywhere. I can't remember if I did this foot or not. I'm gonna do it just in case. <laughs> 